<clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at how to use the new Google Sites to create your college and career digital portfolio instead of making a PowerPoint or having a uh, <clears throat> using a binder. You're going to do it completely digital. So here's how you start. Once you go to Google Sites and you click the plus button, this is what your brand new site will look like. So we'll go up here for the page title. We're going to go ahead and start by renaming this as college and career say portfolio and then we'll put your name in there so all right so that's the first thing we do so <clears throat> well what you will do once you have titled it you will then click right here where it says pages click the add page button we're going to give it a title, ninth grade. Click done. And then we're going to do it one more time. We'll call it 10th grade. And we're actually going to do it one for each grade level. Oops. Try that again. And there we go. So we'll start off. We're going to look today first at 9th and 12th, 9th and 10th grade. The instructions for 11th and 12th grade will be coming up soon. But for 9th and 10th graders, this is how you will be adding your um, <clears throat> materials to your portfolio. So here we have 9th grade. And we're going to go over here to insert. And we're going to insert a series of text boxes right now. This is the only one we're going to use. And after I've put all the text boxes for the 9th and 10th grade, then we'll go over how you can then insert uh, stuff from your Google Drive. You can also ins insert stuff from um, YouTube as well. So if you've made a, if you've created a video, they can be inputted anywhere you want on the site. So we'll go over that after we do the text boxes. So the text box is so we can list all the different categories of, of artifacts that you're going to have to show showcase in your portfolio. So click text box. First thing for ninth grade you can have to put is a resume and cover letter. Okay, and then we we'll click text box again. And we're going to add your evidence of. Community service. Go back to text box. Look your transcript reflections. Go. I'm gonna go to evidence of student portal. So for this one, as we'll find out later, you're gonna have to show a screenshot of you, uh, some screenshot or screenshots of you uh, checking your grades, etc., on the student portal. Next, we have your career interest survey. And you'll be adding the notes on post. Secondary education. Evidence of student work. And you have your TVs and awards. And lastly, for freshman year your references, which will be from both a teacher and a peer. So we have our categories for ninth grade. I will go on to 10th grade and we'll add those real quick. Much of it will be the same with a couple differences. So again, we go to text box. Start off with your resume and cover letter. Evidence of 
community service. Transcript reflections. Student uh, evidence of student portal. Oops. Career interest survey. See, the next one will be a little bit different, but your proof of research post secondary education. We'll put institutions. There we go. We're going to add another one here evidence of student work. And one for activities and awards again. And then we have notes on job etiquette of your job application all right so we'll start back here in ninth grade we'll click on the tab right there and it's very easy to add anything to a Google site so your, your resume cover letter will more than likely be a Google Docs. So I'm going to click here, Google Docs. And I'm, it's going to search my drive for a Google Doc. Then I will find it, and I will add it in there as a, um, so let's say, for example, you find a good one here. I'll we'll search. Through. We'll say this one was going to be my, uh, Google Doc, and it puts it in there. So I'm going to now drag it where I want. I want it to be underneath where it says resume and cover letter. So all I have to do is just drag it right up there. Now it says resume and cover letter, and here's the doc that it goes with it. And when the site is published, then you'll be able to scroll down and see the entire document. So it's that simple. If you have a Google Doc, a slide, a sheet, a form, some kind of chart, even a map, a YouTube video, all these things you have saved in your Google Drive somewhere, you can then add that into your into your uh, your site and put it and drag it wherever you need to. So let's say, for example, you have a we'll go for a an image. Maybe for your career, so your evidence of student portal, you'll have have a screenshot saved. So I'm gonna look up some images here in my, you can either upload it from your computer or I can look through in Google Drive and I can find it there. So I'll find, let's say that this picture here is my, my evidence. So it's gonna put it in there for me. And then I'm gonna drag it where I want it to go, right below evidence of student portal. And you just kind of repeat this process until you until you get it all where you want. The cool thing is you can crop it. You can do a lot of different things here. You can replace the image. You can add some text to it. it a lot of things you can do with it. So let's say that we'll, for argument's sake, we'll say that we're done. Click on publish. And you might want to put your your name here as part of your first first and last name portfolio. And right now, you, you can make it, you click here, anybody on the web can search your site and then view it. Uh, if you want to keep this somewhat private, you can leave this clicked here, anyone within our domain. So anybody who has an address at any of our school sites can see it only. So we'll click Publish. Now it's published, I can click the Preview button here and see what it would look like to the world. So, 
Here it is. So resume cover letter allows me to scroll down and see the entire document. Right here, evidence of student portal. This would be a screenshot of your uh, of your portal, which go right, show up right there. So as you can see, it's uh, very quick and easy to uh, to go ahead and uh, edit your your site. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, send an email to Mr. Waters or or uh, a message on Google Hangouts, and I will assist you the best I can. So when you're done here, you might want to add in this is your college and career portfolio. Then you are saved.